Does anyone have any lightning or anything like that? Any electricity on them? No one? All right. Okay. Oh. Good morning, boys and girls. Chef George here. The lesson brought me to David, well, King David's palace, but I don't know why. I was cooking in the kitchen and now I'm here. Do you all know about David, well, King David? Before he was king, he was a shepherd. And his story to kinghood is actually pretty cool. Would you like to hear it? You would? Well, before we do that, let's have a word of prayer. Okay, cool. You can pray along with me with the words at the bottom. Dear Lord, we give you thanks for today, for you are God in every way. Please be with my friends and family, and forgive me if I do not see the world as you see. Please help us to laugh together as sisters and brothers, and in all we do, and in all we say, please be with us through the day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Good morning, boys and girls. I would love to read you all a story. This story is about a shepherd, a Goliath, food delivery service, and rocks. It all started with a man named King Saul. King Saul was the first king of Israel. He had a beautiful kingdom and everyone loved him. But Israel was at war, the Philistines. These were a treacherous, fierce people who hated the Israelites and hated their God. The Philistines had a special warrior and his name was Goliath. He was strong, he was swift, and had special training. And also, little did I hear, he was a great disco dancer. Well, maybe not. Goliath stood over nine feet tall and people were scared and didn't know what to do. And jaws dropped at everything he would say. But there was hope. On the other side of the country lived a little boy named David. David was a shepherd and had a lot of sheep. Well, Let's add a couple more. David would usually tend to his sheep and play music for his sheep with his harp. Well, his harp wasn't that big. Let's scale it down a little bit. There we go. Better. And his sheep would sleep to his music because it would be so peaceful. One day while David was playing his harp for the sheep, a lion came out and tried to eat the sheep and David. Usually I would be scared, but David wasn't. He fought against the lion and David persevered. While one day David was with the sheep, his dad came and told David to deliver food to his brothers at the war. So David with his trusty steed or donkey left home and went to the battleground. But when he got there, he heard all the things Goliath was saying. So David went inside the King Saul's tent and said, King Saul, I will take on Goliath myself. And King Saul said, well, you're kind of small. I don't think you'll be able to. And David said, I've took on lions and bears and fought them to protect my sheep. I will take down this Goliath. So King Saul then agreed and said, well, if you're going to war, take some of my armor. But David recognized, this armor is too big for me. All I need is God and I'll be fine. When David made it to the battleground, Goliath laughed at him and made fun of him and God. Oh, wow. David's slingshot. He must have left it while he was reading. Well, like I was saying. Which made David very mad. And David said, in the name of God, I will destroy you. And here's the actual footage that we have for you today. King Saul's spear is kind of heavy. Well, like I was saying, <laughs> my arm. <sighs> David, where was I at? Oh, I remember. The shepherd known as David became King David. 
And that journey wasn't easy, but it teaches us how faithful God is to those he calls. The end. You know why I love David's story so much? It reminds me that God can use anyone to do anything. Well, I have to go, but have any of you seen the lesson? It's like a, it's a small little purple light that bounces all over the place. I'm looking for it, but I can't seem to find it. <gasps> uh! Is that the lesson? I can, I can smell me cooking. Well, boys and girls, I'll see you on the other side. All right then, bye-bye. You can pray along with me with the words at the bottom. Dear Jesus, you are good and wise. I will praise you when I rise. Hear this prayer I send. Please bless my family and please bless my friends. Help my eyes to see all the good you send to me. Help my ears to hear calls for help from far and near. Help my feet to go in the way that you will show. Help my hands to do all things loving, kind, and true. And Jesus, guard me through this day and in all I do and in all I say. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.